that a cop? No, Steve. It's the Blue's Clues kids. Get the door. All right, let me just put some pants on. Welcome to college, guys. I got my friend Blue here for the weekend. What's up, dipshits? Just to catch you guys up, I'm now a junior at college here on a hot scotch scholarship or whatever. Dude, what is this? It's a clue. That's like what we do. Dude, I'm way too hungover for this. What? Just come on. Check out the clue. You puked in the fridge. Are you I serious? I didn't. That's a mystery for you to find out. I'm not doing it. I just left the clue. Oh, dude, it smells horrible in here. Dick. F you, Steve. I got lanyard. Nickelback tickets. Nickelback? Are you serious? Wasn't me, Steve. And a visitor's pass. And Crocs. Crocs? Do you even have feet? I'm wearing shoes, Steve. So, f you. Joe! Joe! Wait, Joe's here? Who invited you, Joe? Did you, uh, geek in my fridge, man? Uh, I'm sorry, Steve. Unfortunately, now at college, some of my old friends aren't here, Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper, but I haven't been able to make some new friends. Uh, we got Mr. Condom, Miss Adderall, Mr. Beer, and my personal favorite, Mr. Red Solo Cup. Oh yeah, Mr. Red Solo Cup. Also have Mr. and Mrs. Pillow. They're always down for some good pillow fights. I want a divorce! Fine! Maybe now you can marry that whore you keep fooling around with! That was one sleepover! Wait! You woke the baby! Good! He should see this! Mail time! I wonder who it's from. Huh? My parents! I wonder if they want to come visit. Always great to hear from them. Wait, what'd the letter say? <laughs> Steve's... Parents hate him. Whatever. Yo, Steve. What's good? You know what we haven't done in a while? Had a three way? No, Steve. Blue's could do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember that? Those were the days. Dude, we could go anywhere. See that poster right there? Yeah. I could jump into it. Dude, that's fucking tight. Respect, Mr. Solo Cup. I'm gonna do it. Dude, no, we haven't done it in years! Bow, bow, bow. Motherfucker. Oh, my fucking wrist! Ugh. Oh, Steve, we're going to the hospital. I'll get the door. Good luck. I'll get the door, Steve. Come on. No, I'm, I'm gonna stay here. Come on, get your keys. I can't drive. I broke my wrist. Kristen Karen, Reagan Martin, Michaela Toledo, Andrew Weiss, and Daniel West. With the musical stylings of the Piazza Pit, tonight's host is Josh Silverman, so please, everyone, put your hands together for Josh Silverman. Welcome everyone to the second show of 2016. Uh, since people found out that I was hosting, they keep saying that they're so excited to see the show. Don't be. It, it's not going to be funny. Don't have your hopes up. It's not going to be great. Maybe mediocre. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll settle for mediocre. Look, I've seen the show and I've seen my acting. I'm not that good. I'm really not. I didn't realize how hard acting was until this week. Look, I'm a Jewish kid from New York. All I know is bar mitzvahs and bagels with lox. If you don't know what lox is, it's like fish. That means you're not Jewish if you don't know what it is. And if you know me, you know everything I say I think is hilarious and no one else does. I also mumble when I talk like I'm probably doing right now. So you won't be able to understand me anyway. Just smile and nod like Kyle is doing. And so at least I know you're awake. This monologue will be short and mediocre, just like my sex life. <laughs> 
No, I'm joking. We have a great show for you tonight. Also, before I move on, it's not mediocre. It's getting there, just in case there are any girls watching or anything. <laughs> you never know who's watching. <laughs> I was home last weekend, and that was so much fun seeing all my home friends. You wouldn't believe the stories you can tell when your home friends and school friends don't mix. Imagine all the stories you can tell. Whatever you're thinking you could tell right now, I've definitely made that up. This is my first time hosting, so they gave me some guidelines to follow, just to be safe. They said no offending people or using outrageous, outrageous language, which is fine, because I've got a huge vocabulary. They said no nudity. Now, that's a shame, because I've got a huge vocabulary. Just, that, that was a penis joke, just in case you didn't, you didn't realize that. My, my penis. <laughs> 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 the election coverage is really heating up, and Donald Trump has been keeping busy. He started the year by having Sarah Palin endorse him, and I'm curious, who were their other options? Johnny Manziel or Kim Kardashian? Like, has anyone ever said no to Trump? Like, when he brought up the idea of having Sarah Palin endorse him, did anyone question it, or they were just like, yeah, you know, you do you, man. Ted Cruz had to stop one of his campaign ads after there was a porn star in one of them. When asked about it, Cruz just said, yeah, I thought I'd take the attention away from my ideas. <laughs> Chris Christie dropped out of the presidential race last week, and no one was happier than the manager of the Domino's next to his house. Also last week was the Super Bowl. It was kind of a letdown. The game was pretty basic, but the ceremony after was awesome. Peyton said in his post-game interview that he was going to drink a ton of Budweiser. Sure, it's okay when he says it, but when I say it, I have to have a conduct meeting. <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> but now the NFL season is over, and I wake up every Sunday upset. But to be fair, so do all the people who went to Toads the night before. <laughs> Pits. <laughs> that was actually improv. Uh, part, of, part of my whole persona is that I'm the classic little freshman who's still in the one-on-one -on -one classes. Look, I won't lie, it wasn't easy to come to Quinnipiac. Waking up and doing everything yourself, it was different. One of the biggest things was walking so far to class. In the beginning, it was weird, but I'm that sucker that if a girl waved or smiled to me while I passed her, I would think, wait, should I have gotten her number? I, she was into me. I definitely should have gotten her number. If you're wondering, I didn't manage any numbers, but I did get two restraining orders. Not bad. The numbers have been, have been way better this semester. I'm already at four. But... <laughs> I think I'm really close to dating one, one of my girls, one of my girls, one of the girls in my journalism classes. She's really cute and she smiles at me, but she has a boyfriend. And we've never talked before. And she didn't accept my Facebook friend request. And she blocked me on Instagram. But I still have hope. This semester I also got two new roommates, which is really bad timing because I finally learned the other two's names. Now this is a true story. I have three other roommates of any of their numbers. I don't need more info on them after I find out what they do and the lights go off. <laughs> now for the worst transition in monologue history, enjoy the show tonight. <laughs> Freshmen this year have stepped in and really just eliminated that problem, doing the right plays at the right time. I mean, it certainly seems like an uphill battle for this team, but I, Trisha Fabi is one of the best coaches at this university. The Bobcats hosting Arizona State. We'll start with this power play. But she's strong. Good Lord, I saw her lifting one time. She could squat three of me. Like, oh, more that, that, seven of me then. <laughs>
I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken and cheese for just over $4. Giant cheesesteak subs and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. You cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney here at Ray and Mike's. This week's trending topic is hashtag that. We are your source for Quinnipiac Entertainment News. As you, come on. as you know, <laughs> this is the third year of Quinnipiac Tonight, Quinnipiac Tonight's existence, so since it's older than I am, we figured it would be fun to take a look back at when this show was a freshman. Here's our TBT. Hi there. I'm Kevin Carroll, and tonight on The Big Q, we tackle one of the most pressing questions to have ever afflicted the Quinnipiac community. What exactly is in the legendary Hepatitis Creek? We've all heard the rumors, that it's a runoff for Chartwell's grease trap, that it's a ploy by Yale to get back at us for all the liquid we taint their campus with, <laughs> or perhaps that it's an aqueduct for running water in Complex and Salem. If that's the case, you freshmen better pray for a better housing number. In the meantime, watch as we send out a team of only the most qualified experts to see what they could find. We have a simple goal here. Find out what's below that brown murk that I can only assume is caused by muskrat STDs. So like Khloe Kardashian, it might not be pretty, someone's got to do it. Q, you, thanks for letting me be your Lamar Odom. Just to clarify, that's pre-crack house Odom. For now, anyway. We'll see if I come out the same after this. Using only the latest technology, Kevin and his research team survey the land. For the sake of professionalism, the team must take all necessary precautions before beginning their study. <laughs> Alright, so after some diligent work, science, science work, We've collected some samples. Time to take these back to the lab and see what we're working with. Clearly, Q30 has its budget limits, but we're here, so let's experimentate. <laughs> what the <laughs> So we had some inconclusive evidence, <laughs> possibly a bad sample. But we see now that we've been going about this all wrong. The only way for us to find out what we need to know is to do it ourselves. Jacques Cousteau, I see you, my G. Thank <laughs> you. 
secret lair down here? <laughs> yes. You are either clever enough or insanely stupid enough to dive into Hep Creek yourself to figure it out. But if you show an ounce of intelligence, then you'll keep this to yourself. And who knows? Maybe all those parking tickets will just fade away. <laughs> <laughs> like a tennis ball into the creek. So, as you can see, we didn't find anything interesting down in Hep Creek at all. Uh, so, you know, no one need go down there ever. Uh, but wouldn't you know it, I did contract hepatitis. Um, so I'll see you guys next time when I'm back from medical leave. Until then, I'm Kevin Carroll, and this was The Big Q. Welcome back to Q tonight. Obviously, I'm John Oliver. I was going to do a British accent, but no one wants to hear that. Uh, as you all know, Monday was... <laughs> I'm like his son, I don't know. <laughs> Monday, was, Monday, Monday was President's Day, and I don't know if you guys heard, but George Washington made a shocking announcement. Let's check out the press conference right now. I am here today to address what occurred between me and a Miss Modesty Lipinski. It is true. I had inappropriate relations with that wench. George! 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 Hi, George. Uh, Mark Smith, the old New York Times. Uh, is it true that she received splinters in her nether region from your wooden teeth? Before I say anything, I'd just like to point out that she fired the first shot. And I also got splinters when I so lovingly cut down her cherry tree. Here. George! 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 Hi, uh, Jebediah Winston, New England Current. You are called the father of this young nation. Do you think that this has ruined your legacy? Father of the nation, founding father. Is it any surprise she called me daddy? <laughs> uh, Mr. President, you didn't exactly answer the question. Uh, what? Do you think that this will ruin your legacy? Please. The only thing that was ruined was that room in the La Quinta Inn that we, you know. Okay, okay. What George is really trying to say. No, is... Martha. The people need to know the truth. Look, I've done nothing but protect this country time and time again. The British were coming. And so was I. And is that so bad? You want to know the truth? Well, for one, the carpet did match the drapes, which was refreshing. Martha, I know that's a wig. We go to the same wig maker. So you admit to having an affair? Yes. And Modesty Lubinsky isn't the only one. For some, I may have to drink a musty Samuel Adams dry, then have a beer before I could do anything. But I did it. Yes, I did it. When did the relationship begin, and what were the details of how you seduced her? Well, it started when I took her on the grand tour of the Washington Monument. I had her start at the base, and then she just rode her way up. How do you expect to be taken seriously after this? Uh, no one would want to serve under your well, reign. Well, Nasty Lubinsky would love to George, serve. George, George, please, please, please. Also, what if there's a foreign invasion? You know what I'd do about that? I will go about defending this country like I do my love life. I will go in with no protection under the cover of night. I will not pull out until the job is done. <laughs> and after it's finished, never talk to them again. I'm Michaela. I'm Kristen. I'm Dan. And I have. I have. I have. RBF. 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 It stands for Resting Bitch Face. It's a very serious chronic condition. And unfortunately, we're not the only victims. Someone you know and love 
most likely suffers from RBF. But no longer do they have to suffer in the shadows. When you pass someone on the street and they look like they want to punch you, don't take it personally. We don't hate you. We don't hate you. Well, we do. Because f people. But we would never tell you that. We would never let our faces show it. We would never let you know our true feelings. So when you pass that person on the street, don't assume. Don't judge. And don't hold a grudge. Because I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. And together, we can work. To fight the stigma. Behind resting bitch face. We, we are, are the face, face of, of RBF. RBF. Good evening and welcome to Sports Pause. In the end, we're here to win the championship this year. Jess Fontaine now has that. She's going to take a ripper off the post, but she's going to come back. And my number one, hold your applause, Bobcats fans, is Quinnipiac. All right, Victoria, you know what time it is. It's top five plays of the week. My favorite time. All This week's trending topic is hashtag that. We are your source for Quinnipiac Entertainment News. Recently, we've been noticing a lack of caring on, on campus, so naturally we wanted to change that. We, we drafted some causes we think Quinnipiac kids will really care about. Here they are. Let straight people get married this year, not just gay. We have to have quality all across the world. 
You should start believing, because what kind of message is it sending to young kids if Butter doesn't even believe in itself, you know? You want the bell tower to start playing track music? <laughs> so can you sign your name? Awesome. You're leaving me in if you not to go with this, because yeah. I mean, you're going to use Butter in about five seconds. Awesome. It's a mix. When it's 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 9 o'clock, it's between 6, 7, 9. Guys, I'm signing a petition for what? Okay, so we want to change the name of Sharpwells to Sharpwells. No, but this one is, um, we want to make, I can't believe it's not butter to start believing. What year are you? Um, I'm going to Oh, it's fine, that's fine. Also, you make a lot of changes here. That girl's in the we're trying to change uh, our mascot from Quinnipiac Bobcat to the Quinnipiac Black Cock. Well, I, really, I, really like I have a close Bobby. relationship with, uh, with Boomer. You have a close relationship with Boomer? I do. What about a Black Cock? Like, it's a big deal because it's a Black Cock. So. <laughs> and we just went, like, what a graceful animal that is. Oh my lord. <laughs> Will you guys sign in? You seem like you like Black Cocks. <laughs> You. I, I, awesome. I, I love black cocks. I love black cocks too. Yeah, she will sign that. You will sign it? That's awesome. Oh God, do you love birds? Do you love you black cocks? So hopefully you're as interested in black cocks as we are. So can you sign it? Yeah, sure. Awesome. <laughs> if I get 200 signatures, my ex-girlfriend will come back to me. Yeah? What about it? I mean, you only, you only need a few more, right? <laughs> that doesn't look like you're doing that well. I miss it, so... Dude, it's not worth it. Would you mind signing your thing? I don't go here, but I will. <laughs> well, she, she doesn't know that. Oh. So... Yeah. You actually were dating this girl? at one point in time? Though? Yeah. Or is it all is this all is it? No, I was, and then... Uh, and then I just kind of went on my own. Yeah. 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 Thanks so much for coming out, everyone. It, uh, it's really great to have everyone here. That girl is definitely not coming to Quinnipiac. Uh, I want to thank the cast, the crew, and always the Piazza Pit. They do a great job. Be sure to follow Q tonight on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we'll see you in two weeks. Thank you.